it was we can all see this one coming didn't we Hollywood doesn't want them Spotify is about to dump them they're not making the millions America did not fall in love with them and maybe they were infatuated with them for just a little bit but the infatuation is over and we all know that when people fall out of love with you they only see your flaws which is what's happening to Harry and Meghan Markle so no wonder they're in talks to return let's dig this video up hmm I want to say thank you to all of you guys. You are amazing. Thanks to all of you who have donated to the uh, PayPal donations and the super thanks. Uh, I will be doing a little video about the school and you can see where the donations are going. I haven't reached my goal, but still, you know, I'm doing whatever I can. But I want to especially thank Najela. Najela, thanks so much for supporting. Uh, it, it's, it, you have, I think I expressed to you how much it helped. Thank you very much. And to all of you too, check it out at 8 a.m. I'm going to go live on Patreon for my Patreon people. Thank you very much for joining and I'll see you there soon. Thank you very much. <sighs> it is pretty terrible when you're no longer loved, especially by many countries. And this was, I mean, this all could have been avoided. Harry and Meghan could have had the world eating at the palm of their hands. Why? Harry, whether I always thought he was a wanker or not, was an incredibly popular uh, member of the royal family. He was very, very popular more popular, I dare say, than William and Catherine put together. Because whenever he would turn up at events, there was a lot of press, he was always fun, and he generally seemed to like being there. Um, I remember when he went to represent the Queen uh, during the Commonwealth, one of the Commonwealth, in one of the Commonwealth countries, I think it was, uh, I want to say Barbados, but I don't know, and they asked him, he went to see the forest. Remember, he did the walk through that big forest and, and they asked him and he said he was so proud to be representing Her Majesty the Queen and, and her incredible work and all he wanted to do was serve. Well, <laughs> what happened, you ask? Megan happened. I don't give Harry a pass for what he's doing now, but I do believe that he has been manipulated. I do believe he's not smart. I do believe he's a wanker. Having said that, I mean, he has to be held responsible for his actions. But if you we look consistently at his past messages, they were, I want to serve, I love doing this job, I want to go to South Africa. Uh, and this is why he started that thing in Lesotho, this charity in Lesotho. Um, he seemed to genuinely want to be there. And I don't think he's much of a great actor. My friend Maria Inez gave me this. She hand painted everything. Isn't it cute? I don't think he was lying about that. But what happened? Then he gets somebody like Megan who comes into his life and tells him, your privileged life, all, all the beauty, you know, because Harry what is not a, well, he's a millionaire, but he's not a billionaire. He's what they call a lower end millionaire. You know, where actually I would think it's incredible, a lot of money. But for, you know, for someone like Megan, who wants to be an A-list billionaire, ah, I was not cutting it. The kind of privileges that the royals enjoy are those of billionaire people. And for some reason, people like Courtney Cox or all these A-listers are willing to let them into their homes, lend their yachts, lend their planes, just like Elton John and everybody else, because they are royals. And not just any royals, members of the royal family, the most famous royal family. So why are they planning to return now? 
Harry's got so many court cases. He did try to reach out King Charles. King Charles is on vacation. So we know what that means. It means that, uh uh, no talking to daddy here. We know that Prince William cannot stand to be around him. And don't even talk about Catherine. And I don't blame her. So, but that's the last move. That's their last move. Because Harry, if he loses, which most likely he will, all those court cases, most of his money, believe it or not, I know what people have been talking about hundreds of millions here with this Netflix, 18 millions with Spotify, none of that, none of that, 20 million with the book. That is absolute BS. That is absolute BS. I know there's been in the news that Harry's going to sell the book rights <laughs> to spare, to turn it into a film, a horror film. Yes. So now Meghan and Harry are reaching out because they want to come home. After all, they're still on their website as working royals. I know, I know, I know what you guys are going to say, but they're not working royals but they are still there. That website is a working website for all the working royals. Whether they're currently working or not, they are working royals. It has nothing to do with the succession order because we have royals there that are like 30th place in, 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 in line of succession. It really has nothing to do with that. It has to do with working royals. And Harry and Meghan are still there. And we all know that Charles is the king of comebacks. If not, Camilla was crowned. It has nothing to do whether I like them or not. It has to do with the fact that they, that he managed to get her from being the worst possible human being on earth to being crowned queen consort of England. Queen. Wearing the, the, the crown, one of the most and by the Archbishop of Canterbury, the same guy. I don't, I, I, was it the Archbishop of Canterbury who crowned her? Please let me know. Um, the same guy, the same church who declared her an adulterer and said that she could not marry Charles in a church ceremony that because they, she didn't qualify. And yet she was crowned by one of the top ones. So Harry and Meghan do have hope. And they have been in talks with King Charles. Very, very tentative. Well, King Charles' staff, because they're reaching out yet. They won't talk to Charles until, until everything is ironed out. And guess what they are using for that? Please, guess. Take a guess what they're using for that. Yeah, the kids. You guessed it. Yeah, look at my, oh my God, look at my eye. This is going to hurt, but you know, I haven't gone to the doctor because I, I, I want to see if I can get there. I have an ointment that I'm putting there, the antibiotic. Hopefully it'll go away and I, they won't have to cut me open there. Yes, the kids are being used as emotional manipulation. It turns out that Meghan Markle has had an epiphany. She now considers family to be important. But which family, you may ask? Not the Markle family, not her devoted father, not her sister who changed her stinking diapers. No, 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 no. Is the whitest supremacist, royal, monarchist jerks who made her not want to live, the ones who took her passport away while she traveled only like 17 times that we know of, the ones who were heartless towards her, the ones who were racist towards her and her unborn children. Yeah, that's where we're going. Yep. Now they're negotiating coming back full time, back to the Queen's Commonwealth Trust as president and vice president. But this time they're promising. This time we're going to behave. This time we're going to listen to you. This time we're going to obey the rules. Do you think that shit's going to fly? I don't. I don't think that's going to fly. 
I don't think the UK will allow them back. They might allow Harry back. I don't know why, but they will not allow Meghan Markle back. But do you think that Charles will be successful in making Harry and Meghan Markle popular again? Do you think that's why he hasn't taken them down from the royal website? I mean, people are saying that he misses his darling boy. He's not a boy. He's almost a 40-year-old man. Meghan Markle is in her mid-40s. But, yes, guess what's the PR tactic that they're going to start employing? The children. This is why we're starting to see that Meghan Markle is determined that her children have a relationship with King Charles. How are they going to have that relationship if they're not in the UK? Those Those two children are too small to do Skype or Zoom or whatever it is that WhatsApp or whatever it is that they do. So we're going to start seeing more articles of how the kids or how Charles misses their grandchildren and the press are going to back it up. You're going to start seeing articles as to how Harry and Meghan, you know, how Charles really misses his son. How forgiveness is important. How many times does a snake have to bite oneself before we realize it's a snake and it will always bite? And each bite gets worse. If Meghan Markle returns to the UK, she will be a very angry snake. <laughs> she will. She will be a very angry snake. Because she's not returning in her own terms. She's returning defeated but angry and feeling entitled to an apology. So I ask you beautiful people, should we let that happen? I don't, I, I, I mean, but then again, we're gonna mark my words because you're gonna start seeing that. Now they're out of Hollywood. Hollywood is making fun of Meghan Markle, not as much as Harry, because Harry has always been a royal, I mean, Royals are not even A-listers. Royals are above A-listers. This is why the A-listers want to hang around royalty. This is why we see Oprah Winfrey sending helicopters to pick up Beatrice and Eugenie to hang out these billionaire yachts in Ibiza. This is why we have uh, George Clooney inviting Harry and Meghan Markle and, and Eugenie to, to his villa. Because they want to hang out with royalty. So Harry, he's not being made fun of in, in Hollywood. Harry's pitied. People feel sorry for him in the UK because the people are in the US. Because the people in the US see that Harry is Meghan to a viper. That's what's happening right now. And the, I think that's, they're angry. They're angry, even, even though the U.S. doesn't care very much for royalty. They're angry at Meghan Markle for turning that prince who used to be very popular even in the U.S., actually in the entire world, into a wanker. Because this, this is the travesty that's happened. I mean, please leave me your comments because I'm dying to hear what you have to say on this. And as usual, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thanks for those of you who donate uh, to the PayPal donations. Um, thank you very much for that. It goes all to the school. Thanks for you for watching the ads. That really helps the channel. So I know sometimes you don't want to watch it and you just want to skip it. But if you just let it run a little bit, you know, for the ads to happen, that really helps the channel grow and the algorithm. And let me know what you think, beautiful people, because I sure as hell don't want them back. <laughs>